Looks like we have a sergeant here. We're over here on East Riverside. There's a lot of homeless that live under the bridge and live under the ground out here, live out in the fields. Lots of tickets for people just sleeping. There goes some people in their shorts. It's super cold outside. People don't have the right clothing. But we've got money for police and the police are well dressed. You get some red shoes there. Doing homeless cleanups on this side of town. As many law enforcement as it takes to get rid of the homeless because they're going to try to put a new development project in here. Gloves are on. Got his baton out. I guess he's just taking it off so he could get in his car. He did have his baton out. Got to go over there. Now what the heck's going on over there? But I'm about to go over there. I'm just gonna take all of them. What are they doing? Five police cars. Hey, you need to take everyone off I got you, man. Hey, hey. you gotta shove the other Just step over there on the grass, do whatever you want. You're too close to me, sir. I'm within 10 feet. It's a court ruling in federal court. Go read the law. Oh, yeah, it's Glick versus Conliffe. It's a federal court ruling. I understand if you don't understand the law. Sergeant, can I have a word with you? It's Sergeant. So they're gonna ignore me. Sergeant, can I have a word with you? What's up? Uh, I just wanna to talk to you for a second. What's your name, sir? Crawford. Crawford. Well, I thought I read, but you were really fast. Um, Kato, I'd rather not you be here. I'd rather not talk to Kato. Is that okay? Uh, Kato's, Kato's got a lot of citizen complaints by the homeless against him for 
targeting the homeless and, and taking personal uh, vendettas out on the homeless. Citizen complaints? Yeah, a lot of citizen complaints. That means homeless people have, have complained that you are a bad cop, and I'd rather not have to deal with you. Okay. So anyways, you, I mean, you talk, so Crawford, I want to talk about filming. So some of the homeless people out here said that they were jumped upon when they were filming undercover officers selling drugs, and a lot of women out here on this side of town have been raped by the police. A lot of um, uh, street walkers have been raped by the police over here, your police. And then while filming that, they had their cameras stolen by the police as evidence with no incident, no case. And they were beat up. One of them has a scar right here. He lives in this area, and I filmed that he has a scar right here from being jumped on by uh, police. Uh, I think it was out of the white van, if I remember correctly. Uh, jump out, boys. Uh, what's going on? What can we do to make sure that filmers have the, the First Amendment protections under the Constitution? Like myself, when I was standing here, I was told to move illegally and people are interfering. I get this downtown a lot, but this is a whole new group of police officers for me. And I want to make sure that, the, that all citizens have the right to film the police and won't be interfered with outside of Section 302.2 of APD's policy. You, 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 you know as well as I do, y'all can film all you want. Mm -hmm. When we're sitting there dealing with a irate prisoner, we don't want y'all people walking up, walking up, well, he's in custody right now. Yeah. So, and we don't want people walking up behind us like that. That's all he told you. You can keep filming all you want. Mm -hmm. We, every one of us has got cameras on us. And You're all well armed and, and see, I've got no weapons. Look, I got no weapons. All I have is the camera. Why are you guys what scared? What I'm trying to say is, you say you, you're trying to film because you right. want you want to make sure and we're doing the right thing. And he get audio also. Right. And yeah. These all have audio too. But I can't get access to those under your policy. I can't get access. Yeah. No, not unless I'm a, not, unless I have a release from the person who's the victim. I don't have. to know their name. Yeah, I don't know his name. So again, I can't do that. So all I have is my camera, and everybody else here is going to be filming you guys too. And they are filming. So I want to know what kind of protections that you can tell your officers to give us space to film, um, which under the Glick versus Caliphy case, it's federal case, it's 10 feet reasonable. It, it would not in all cases, it's not. That's a federal, federal ruling. Now, the only, the only reason we could be interfering is if we physically yeah. interfere. Yeah. So filming can't be interference. Yeah. Right, we're, we're not going to have it's a, law. A, a debate It's the here. law. Okay, we're not going to have a legal debate out here. What I'm telling you is if you're interfering and they tell you to move back, Move back. Well, I wasn't interfering. Not the you other to... portion of it is you're also in the lane of traffic, and we don't want people. Running you guys blocked the here. lane. No. There's you had five police cars here. We, we, we've had cars going back and forth through here. Regardless, yeah. regardless. I don't want to get into a little debate on smash. On the law. And it, no, okay. the law. So anyway, I have a legal right they, to film. Okay. If they tell you to stand back. Mm. Stand back. I'm not going to comply. Filming. I'm not going to comply because okay. well, you got to tell me how I'm interfering before you claim I'm no, interfering. No. They yeah, you do. You're interfering and then you That's not how the back. law works. The law okay. works if you have you to have physically. Say, All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad I met some bad cops. You too, Cato. You need to lay off the homeless or Come you're going to be in jail. Chris. Yeah, Chris. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. So that's how it works out there. Where do they put it? You put it over there? That's where they put it. That's where the people are. Okay, yeah, yeah well, you say that's where they put it. Yeah. When them motherfuckers were downtown and I was cleaning windows, you know what them motherfuckers told me? Every cop told me. Go to Riverside of Pleasant Valley. Really? Now I'm over here. Now what you want to do? Now there's still police, you know, no matter where you are. It's but, like Boss Van A tells you to go off his property, and then Boss Van B tells you to get off his yeah. property. And it's just a shell game. So instead of waking somebody up, they need to be offering housing. Look at this. I don't do drugs. All right, guys. I'll be right. safe. Keep yes, coming, them fucking cops. Oh, yeah. oh, what's up, dude? So the cops are still there. 69 in the parking lot after waking up two men and uh, beating them up, knocking one out, unconscious, throwing them over the hood and arresting them for sleeping because a security guard called them and they had to come in five deep to beat them up. So we're great.